To me, colorism is discrimination against people based on their skin tone, based on their complexion. Both males and females face this um, discrimination, but I think women are the one who suffer the most out of it because in this culture, beauty is considered one of the key features of a woman. I think uh, this is something that is like an internal struggle um, among all brown women, especially who are a bit darker. You see, I believe no form of colorism is small or big. Every little word and action has an impact and builds up to a bigger consequence in the future. In the context of Bangladesh, I think colorism has become really deeply embedded into our culture that we don't even notice when we are being involved in it or when it's even happening around us. We discriminate against people of darker complexion when it comes to workplace, when it comes to looking for a bride for our son, or when we when we associate words such as moila, dirty, with people of darker complexion, and we make them feel inferior and make them feel undervalued just because of their skin tone. Living in Bangladesh, it is very common that a person will be subjected to various forms of colorism throughout their entire life. Either they face it personally or they see others around them experiencing it. In my case, I did um, face colorism from time to time while growing up and I still do. Uh, for example, I remember when I was in grade 5 or 6, I used to play uh, outdoor games and at school and thus would be exposed to the sun for a long period of time which caused me to become tan. So, a particular relative of mine pointed that, uh, pointed that out to me uh, once saying that oh my god uh, you've become so dark lately you were not like this before your skin tone will be ruined permanently if this goes on and not only did she stop at that uh, she continued to compare me to another cousin of mine and said uh, look she is so fair and she looks so beautiful you should also take care of your skin uh, give you a very casual, backhanded comment. They are like, oh, we found you, everything is perfect. Uh, I just wish you were a bit fairer. There are times when I have heard people saying, oh, for a dark person, she's very beautiful. So I think these are some things that affect a person's self-esteem. I mean, I can be pretty if I'm dark. I, I, my skin tone does, should not define the beauty standards affecting me. I have especially seen my own sister struggle with her complexion because he, she has a little darker skin tone and we have had relatives who would throw mirrors of advice at her on how to improve her color, on her skin color, on the fact that maybe if she had a lighter complexion she would look better, but which is definitely not the case. Why would having lighter complexion equate to being beautiful? That, that is just an impossible standard of beauty, I think. Especially in the case of when um, a family is trying to find a good groom for the bride uh, or for their daughter, they're really worried if their daughter is of a darker skin because um, there's a high probability that she's going to be rejected by the groom's family just because she has darker skin and they don't think that she is pretty enough. Colorism is such a massive social construct these days that we have created, we have given birth to this multi-billion dollar fairness industry and companies such as Fair and Lovely, they are the ones that are benefiting from it. They have campaigns based on, the, based on concepts that say that the darker the skin tone, the less opportunities we get at work and the fairer we become, the more career opportunities we get, the more marriage prospects we get, the more worthy we are. Recently there 
has been this uh, case where due to the Black Lives Matter, the fair and lovely industry has decided to rebrand it. And a lot of people are applauding it. But what I feel is that people don't understand that they are not, they are just rebranding the name. They are not rebranding the concept. They are still going to, uh, you know, exploit people's insecurity in the name of glowing instead of whitening skin. While the news has been welcomed, uh, but I feel that the move doesn't go far enough because the bigger question is, can just renaming a fairness cream uh, stop colorism when for years and years top actresses and various influential individuals have appeared in advertisements uh, to endorse Fair and Lovely and have had such a strong impact on the consumers? So you are going to be a hypocrite if you support, if you have supported Black Lives Matter, yet you are using Fair and Lovely to whiten your skin. Finally, I would say that um, we need to realize that beauty really has nothing to do with the color of one's skin and can never be a tool to uh, define a person's worth, uh, credibility or value. Colorism or racism is not about how we look, it's about how people assign a meaning to what we look like. We must stop. We must stop making people feel unappreciated because of their skin tone. We must stop thinking that skin tone is something that defines who we are. It's just a physical feature. I can say that yes, I'm very happy with my skin color. In fact, this is something that has not affected me for a while. Uh, when I was a teenager, I used to hate it. I used to think that it was disgusting. But uh, now that I, the more I have grown, I have realized that there is more, much more to me than my skin color. And of course, it's not disgusting. It's beautiful. And so is every brown woman who has that. You should be proud. You should embrace it because that is your identity.